Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading from the 4th to the 10th of January 2021 for the sign of Taurus. So let's pull your first card and it will be Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So what do we have for Taurus please angels? What is the message that Taurus needs to hear the most for the week? Thank you, okay. So I like this card, Taurus. It's a card of illumination. Meditation brings answers. For those of you who do meditate, you'll probably be seeing the shift or the illumination this week for some of you, finding answers, getting clarity. Um, can also be for me as a reader, feels very Virgo energy, finding answers, wisdom from within. So lovely, lovely energy. Okay. So I'm going to pull four cards. The first card is you, your current situation. Second card is your challenge. Third card, advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go into further detail. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, so what do we have for Taurus, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for Taurus, please, for the week. Thank you. First card is out. So your current situation, we have the hanged man. Your challenge, we have the hierophant, which is Taurus. Six of Pentacles, again Taurus energy, we have in the advice from spirit. And your outcome Taurus, lovely, we have judgment. Okay, so let's clarify the cards and go deep into the message. For Taurus, please. Fourth to the 10th of January, 2021. Okay. Oh, Taurus, there you are again. Um, I get duplications in my readings of cards quite a lot because it's the way the angel spirits guides guide you, want to emphasize a specific message. And in this card, the Hierophant is your card. Um, so let's see what else we get for you. Clarifying the Hierophant in the challenge position, we have the Six of Wands. The Queen of Swords is clarifying the Six of Pentacles and Judgment is clarified with the Six of Swords. Bottom of the deck we have the Tower. Okay. Let's clarify this Tower. It's just appeared at the end of your reading. Let's get an extra clarifier for this tower, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. We have it with the Wheel of Fortune. I like the energy very much. Okay. So Taurus, the message is meditation brings answers. You are being guided from within on how you need to move forward in your external environment. And that's what the hangman does so well. The hangman is when we feel in periods of limbo. Can be long periods of limbo, being stuck feeling are, you know, feeling on hold. It is an energy of needing to look at something in a different way in order to get illumination perspective on how you need to move forward in your external environment. Um, there's definitely an energy of, this is about glimpses, glimpses of the path you need to move forward on now. Um, sometimes, you know, the hanged man, it can be about 
I mean, we have many hanged man, we encounter many hanged man situations in our lives. It can be to do with illness that we feel put on hold. Sometimes illness can affect our job. You know, it can be that kind of energy. Um, can be job losses. Um, could be the pandemic where you're feeling a bit stuck. You know, it can be that kind of energy too. Uh, could be in terms of changes in love, romance, relationships. I mean, it can be in in any situation where your your life is feeling in limbo where something may have changed but you're not quite moving forward you know and the hanged man is that energy of needing to look at something in a different way get new perspective for example Taurus and I'm not saying this is the only thing but if it was to do with your money and career for example it might well be if there is a certain path blocked to you for example your current industry um, take for example retail isn't doing very well at the moment certainly with the pandemic then it is sometimes about considering how to transfer your skills and experience to other industries you know so it's that lateral thinking that's needed it, it can be about unconsidered options untapped um, networking opportunities people that you may not could be of use to you that you might not have tapped you know there's potential always with a hanged man but it is about looking at something in a different way to get that new perspective, to see the way forward. And it's with the Hierophant. So there's, I mean, the Hierophant is the representation of God, the universe, the divine on earth. And there's a message that you are being watched over, you are being guided, and you're being guided. You know, the, the Hierophant is a Taurus energy to a greater stability and security in your life. But the Hierophant is also spiritual wisdom, finding the wisdom on how you need to move forward now from this feeling of being stuck. So there's definitely an energy of the universe is illuminating you this week, is giving you some illumination, maybe some epiphanies, clarity. It definitely feels like epiphany energy. Yeah, where you may suddenly have an idea or there may well be some lucid moment where you just think that's the way I need to go because we have the Hierophant again which is you with the Six of Wands which is a card of victory but it's in your challenge position so definitely an energy with this hanged man of opening your mind to all possibilities because victory is available to you, but it is a challenge. It is in your challenge position, so not quite there yet. Um, but you will have the opportunity to put a difficult situation behind you and move forward. I mean, the, this Six of Wands is a card of significant success, achievement, overcoming some kind of challenge, obstacle. But it is a card of moving forward, restoring equilibrium. So there's growth in this card. There's movement in this card. So definitely feels for some of you there's a situation that definitely feels like you're, it's keeping you stuck and there's definitely an energy here of being illuminated by spirit on how you need to bring a shift or movement forward into your life now to find the direction that you need to go in we have three sixes here as well, Taurus. The sixes, um, I mean, do look up the six six energy, um, but the sixes can be uh, in tarot about equilibrium, harmony. Um, they are transitional energies as well. So it definitely feels like some movement is available to you. But there's definitely an energy of feeling stuck waiting for some illumination or epiphany or clarity in your situation now the queen of swords and the six of pentacles she is also a card of balance she is somebody who who represents balance but she can also represent somebody who is communicating with you she is a communication energy and the six of pentacles can be somebody reaching out now, Six of Pentacles, the Pentacles energy can be to do with your money, career, your home, your property, your health, even foundational relationships. But this is somebody who is putting their energy in the right direction. 
And again, this is the scales. They're, they're bringing balance back to their situation by the work that they do. Um, it, it feels somebody might be reaching out to you either to help, maybe give you some advice here. Maybe point you in the right direction as well here. Can also be somebody reaching out to you. I mean, this can be a card of windfalls, can be a card of somebody offering you some kind of maybe help or advice here as well, Taurus. It definitely feels for some of you that that Six of Pentacles is representing some kind of getting some success. It feels in terms of money, career, business. Um, establishing some kind of equilibrium. I mean, there could be some communication or conversation that comes your way that is to do with some kind of somebody reaching out, offering you help. This is what I'm saying. It might well be that there is someone in your life who, who may be influential in bringing about a change of fortune here. Because I, I said with the hanged man, it can be looking at things in a different way. It's untapped. It can be an energy of, of opening your mind to all lateral thinking, lateral moves. Um, could be people of influence that you may not have tapped into, your resource network, that kind of energy as well. It might well be there's somebody who could help you here. Could be, like I said, in whichever area that this represents for you, but it feels very good in terms of money, career, finance. Somebody reaching out, giving you communication, help, advice, pointing you in the right direction. Let's clarify this Queen of Swords. believe the amount of balance energies this week I mean it is it is an energy of you're going to get balance back in your life I mean something is happening here that is bringing balance back to the situation that is restoring balance and equilibrium and harmony in your life that's for sure the temperance card clarifying the queen of swords like I said she's about balance this is all about balance as well it's about finding the middle way through a situation that has been challenging. Um, it feels like some kind of solution or help or advice is on hand to hear Taurus to help you through a situation. Uh, temperance is a great energy of adaptation, adjusting. Um, but it is a card of... of, of finding that balance, adjusting, patience as well, patience. It, it, feels that it, it feels in this situation that you've been adapting or trying to overcome some kind of challenge here in life and there's definitely an energy here of you are going to get the balance back in your life there's definitely an energy of what you're focusing on now is going to bring you the return that you need I mean it's a card of giving and receiving the six of pentacles what you put into something now is what the universe rewards you on and it feels like it's it's rewarding you with whatever this queen of swords is representing here like I said it could well be slowly but surely there's balance coming back to the situation but it feels like somebody is influential in helping you restore this balance so take what resonates with you like I said um, because again we've got this this energy of this tower and the wheel of fortune and the tower represents it is a card of the destruction of the old it is and then we pull down many towers in our lives so it's the cyclical nature of life and evolution the tower is this tower as soon as it's tested by the lining it comes crumbling down because it wasn't built to stand the test of time and generally when you see the tower, there are no doors, there are only windows. So it is the universe's way of releasing you from a situation that you need to be released from now. 
Now the tower could be the pandemic for me as a reader because it's generally things beyond your control and I'm getting this with the Wheel of Fortune as well which can be about fate, destiny, things beyond your control but it definitely feels like you're being watched over here, you're being guided to where you need to be. Um, so the tower is an act of love from the universe to realign you to the path that you need to be on. Um, so deep change in your circumstances in whichever area this applies to you Taurus. The Wheel of Fortune is, is a card of a turning point. It's a card of where one door closes, another one is open. Things are about to go in your favour, but it's also destiny. This is something that is beyond your control. This is something that has divine orchestration behind it. And the best thing that you can do is adapt, find your balance, open your mind, act on your intuition and believe that you are being illuminated to the right path now. Because you are definitely finding the path. The Six of Swords is finding that path forward. And it's coming because the Wheel of Fortune is a card of good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth. Everything happens for a reason. This is, like I said, the universe's act of destiny almost, realigning you to the path that you need to be on. And there's definitely an energy here of you will, there could be something happening very quickly that is causing you to act, that is causing you to maybe make a decision very quickly this week. Um, it might well be about life choices because there is the call of the trumpet. There is, yeah, the call to action here. And there's definitely an energy here, Taurus, of some decision that you need to make, and it feels quite quickly, generally when judgment appears, that you need to, to make. There is some action that you need to take this week in regard maybe to some twist of fate, good luck, good fortune. Um, out of the blue, something could just happen, change, shift. Could be news, could be a contact, you know, bringing you some information, reaching out, giving you some advice. And that could change your perspective on how you move forward in a situation. But it definitely feels like there is some call to action that's needed this week. And it feels like, I mean, it could be something unexpected, something that just comes out of the blue that requires you to make a decision very quickly. But what this is doing for you is enabling you to find the way forward, to find your direction. The tower has done its bit. And there is an energy of moving from troubled times with the tower energy to calmer waters, which again is that wheel of fortune energy. You're being realigned to the path that you need to be on. And this is it. This is the life transition. This can be about moving, this can be about moving, relocating, um, travel, can be to do with uh, moving jobs, moving home, life transitions, call it what you will. But it's the clarity of finding direction. But like I said, there's maybe some something that happens this week that is going to allow you to this path. But it requires some kind of quick decision or quick action on your part. Very interesting energy, Taurus. It is a really interesting energy and it's an interesting read. Um, but it, it feels like where things haven't been happening, all of a sudden there is that twist there is that change of fortune and it requires you to act quickly. Very interesting indeed. Okay. <laughs> so, final message for Taurus, please. Yeah, you see, hope. Don't lose hope. There's hope in the situation and there is. We Hope is always there even if we can't see it. Optimistic expectations can change a negative situation into a positive one. Very interesting energy, Taurus. Um, 
I can feel the challenge in this reading and I can feel the waiting in this reading, but I definitely feel towards, I mean, you've got three major arcana at the end of this reading. All of a sudden, there's some kind of life-changing event here. Life-changing opportunity. Something is shifting, but it's realigning you to the path that you need to be on. So it feels very beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you, Taurus, and I will see you next time. Thank you.